Welcome back to another one take, and we're looking at the Nevsky. I was recently told that I missed this ship. I was kind of trying to go in order of when these uh, tier 10s released, at least the tech tree ones so far, and this ship came out at the same time as Petro, and I totally forgot. So we're coming back around to Nevsky. It's a ship I don't play very often, but it is very strong. This is a very, very, very good ship. Because you have a 12 kilometer radar. So we just get the whole cap here. Uh, which is pretty awesome. Honestly, it's insane what this radar is capable of. We get so much knowledge around the uh, caps here. And to go with that, we have an insanely fast reload. 180 millimeter guns? Something like that. So they're not quite 203s, but they're pretty good. Um, the best thing about them probably is the shell velocity. 10 second to uh, 19 kilometers and yeah we're a light between a light and uh, heavy cruiser that has 19 kilometers of range i am taking ifhe in this game i don't always recommend that but in this game we're gonna try it um it's mainly very useful when you're trying to farm some of these battleships the fire chance is reduced but you do get a lot more full pens you can take range mod. I don't really think that's the best way to play it. Although, let's be honest, the games are pretty passive these days. So, I don't necessarily blame you. And this is where we get to the biggest issue. It's really the dispersion. <laughs> it's just not good. Although, there we go. Fire instantly, even though we have IFHE. That's kind of crazy. Something you should also be aware of is the armor is okay, but nothing too special, I would say. Can we even get over this? Uh, one of the downsides of having good shell velocity is you actually can't shoot over things. Uh, this Ragnar is not going to enjoy himself. So you have radar, pretty far range, um, and really, really strong shell velocity. So having a long range and pretty long duration radar too, keep in mind that um, 33 seconds, that's longer than a lot of the other uh, Russian radars can potentially get to. We see there is a sub here. So uh, we're gonna actually start moving here. We can withstand some HE pressure. It's just those overmatching battleships we don't really wanna see. Thunder is definitely one of those. 14 kilometers, still uh, reasonably able to hit him, although I'm not leading quite enough. Getting lit on quite a few fires here. We'll start using our heal. All right, so 30,000 damage to start with is pretty decent, honestly. The reason I'm playing so passive, by the way, is also that uh, I'm waiting for my teammates to get here. You know? um, okay, we got a Moskva to farm. That's not a huge deal at all. I'm going between this island here too, by the way. Um, trying to keep the torps going that way. So this Moskva should get uh, farmed out pretty quickly by my teammates. And wow, our fire chance. We are getting quite lucky considering we have IFHE. Yeah, so we have, we have teammates help here. So I don't, not too worried about taking a trade here. Normally, I wouldn't be as big a fan of it. Um, I'm concerned about the sub. I don't really know what he's going to be doing here. There we go. Now we're seeing some of the lack of fire chance, right? Unfortunately, we're not actually able to uh, get another fire here. Although somebody on our team did. So, we kind of have control of this flank-ish. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't mind this. Uh, turrets? Did I lock them on bearing or not? What's happening? Okay. Maybe I locked them on bearing on accident. Um, and they had to reload. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Uh, it is the new update. There might be some bugs, of course. This is the uh, Christmas update. 11.11 .11 did drop today, at least while I'm recording this. Um, you know, could be, could be some interesting things. Moskva pushing in, probably going to die. I think that's one of the things I enjoy about Nevsky as well, compared to something like a Moskva, where you have that same 12-kilometer radar, but you're much more uh, maneuverable here. You're in a position where... You're, you're in a position where you have much better concealment. 12.8 conceal, 12-kilometer radar feels really, really nice. 
And I think that most of the time, Mosfa can feel a little clunky to play. So, I don't know. Nevsky, Nevsky's a really, really strong cruiser. I think, uh, I think a lot of you probably would enjoy it. I don't really enjoy the poor dispersion. I think that's one of the weak points that I'm not as huge a fan of. Um, but hey, here we go. For some reason, the submarine is targeting me instead of the Thunderer? Um, okay. <laughs> Imagine those actually turned in to hit me. <laughs> wait. 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 <laughs> Bro, this video game. <laughs> oh man! Sometimes all you can do is laugh. All you all you can do is laugh. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> do you know that the reason behind? Uh, sorry, this is not about Nevsky, but just real quick, the, the one of the reasons that certain ships don't have ASW depth charges or things like that are uh, actually historical reasons. Did you know that? I think that's kind of interesting. Uh, that, uh, ooh, I need to rep that. It's actually, yeah, historical accuracy is, is the, one of the reasons. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have that. <laughs> oh, man. And to be clear, just so everyone's aware of my position, I actually don't blame the devs at all. I blame upper, middle upper management, whoever's actually like making the decisions. Um, I bet you most of the devs are w well aware of how ridiculous and how terrible uh, the gameplay is around submarines. Uh, I'm sure it's someone in upper management that uh, probably doesn't play the game all that much. It's making all these wacky decisions. Hopefully we can get ourselves a... Uh, oh, wow. Three hits on the Ragnar there at that range. Feels pretty good. Hopefully we can get our Hydro up soon. Um, actually, let us check. Does Hindi have Hydro? Not recently, so I'll probably pop it right away. Tough to uh, run down a sub, huh? Wait, are these forward launchers? Hold on. They are. Kill him! Both Hindenburg and myself don't have uh, planes. That's <laughs> so funny. All right, we got him. Good work, team. It only took a Holland, Hindenburg, Nevsky, Montana, Thunderer all to rush him down. <laughs> and he only died because he got stuck on the rock. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, there you go. Nevsky, clearly the excellent counter to submarines we've all been looking for. Uh, long range, uh, let's, let's start farming here. Of course, if you're someone who doesn't enjoy the floaty shells of a Worcester, for example, I think you'd really enjoy Nevsky. You have to deal with some kind of poor dispersion at times, but honestly, having this shell velocity feels really, really, really nice. Um, considering that all our, like, a lot of our remaining forces are right here, I'm actually going to turn back and kind of cut towards the B-cap. I want to get back to my DDs. I want to support them as much as I can, trying to uh, use my radar, hopefully effectively. Uh, we can go dark here, as we can see. Dodge the Monty Salvo. Actually, maybe I should be just farming this guy. It's entirely possible. Yeah, let's farm. Let's farm. We're a decent, uh, we're decent bait. He'll probably shoot again, keeping himself spotted, which is always good for our team. See how broadside I am? We can just uh, hopefully slow down and turn in to deal with this salvo. I think we're all right. Actually a decent fire chance here considering IFHE. I'll show you guys the captain when we get back into uh, port more, but. We do have a uh, 30 millimeter deck, keep in mind. So that's something that can bounce shells, which is quite nice. Um, Desynced battleship salvos can uh, definitely be a pain to deal with. I'm not sure what this Monty's plan was, but hey, 
Uh, farm, farm the Nevsky, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're up to 83k. It's not bad. The as you can see, oh, I think that's Vermont Salvo. Notice I do have IFAG or incoming fire alert. So Vermont Salvo that will overmatch us, but he whiffed. So that's really quite nice for us. And we can't shoot over this. <laughs> Yeah, so good shell velocity on Nevsky can be a bit of a detriment. If I was a Worcester here, it'd be the freest farm ever, right? Um, I think I will use my radar here. Uh, just here we go. Just to see where the Sherman's at. Want to make sure we're not uh, allowing our teammates to get snuck up on or something like that. Try and take this gearing on. I'm kind of using the minimap to aim at the moment, so uh, just using the X on the minimap. Not the easiest, but can work. I'm also keeping an eye on this Sherman. If he decides to push, uh, it's actually pretty good for us. Need to bleed a little bit more. Getting fires. The shell velocity is so nice, man. I gotta say, am I not putting that high enough? Dispersion can be a pain at range, and also at closer distances too. As you can see, it uh, gets a little bit tough sometimes to hit. Maybe this is just lock-on bug? I don't know, let's try Let's try actually resetting our aim. Oh yeah, it might have been lock-on bug. Something to keep it in mind. Schlieffen is able to secondary us over this island. Feels a little odd. So we know the Schlieffen's going this way. Um, and our teammates are all south. So I actually am hoping that I can um, reverse and go this way before the Schlieffen gets to here. Um, I'm hoping our Shimmel will be able to spot him for me. Vermont, as we can see, was also running away a little bit. Oh, Schlieffen's not even charging. All right, well, let's just farm a bit. If we can get over the island. <laughs> I think, I think honestly, Nevsky's a really solid ship. Um, I think a lot of you, if you don't have it, probably should try and get it at some point. It's one of the better uh, radar cruisers. If you have a DD div mate as well who can give you a smoke, um, I believe the smoke fire is not like the worst in the world either. Because you're not a, uh, you're not a 203 or 220 millimeter gun uh, Russian cruiser, that kind of thing. I don't actually know that. We can check that in port though. Farming a Schlieff in at range um, feels pretty good shell velocity wise. That's the that's the takeaway here. I find the dispersion frustrating at times, but honestly, it's. Uh, it's fine enough. There we go. We get ourselves a Confederate even, which feels pretty good. I think uh, IFHE, the reason to run it is so that you can farm more standard battleships, not like a Schlieffen, for example, a little bit better. Uh, you don't necessarily need IFHE, though, because base, I believe these guns pen 30 millimeters already. So you're fine against most other light cruisers, even a lot of heavy cruisers. You're pretty good against them anyway. And then you get much better fire chance. I think... I don't know. It's it's debatable. I'm someone who tends to prefer just more raw damage compared to RNG damage. I find I find fire damage can feel a little bit more RNG based, considering it's uh, well. You have to get lucky. Even even without uh, IFHE, you're still going to need to get lucky on some of those fires. So that's kind of my perspective on it. But it is four extra points you could put into something else. So if you don't have a fully kitted out commander with all the captain points in the world, I can understand not taking it for sure. It's not the first four point skill you should take. Definitely concealment. Having having this kind of ship with near uh, radar range levels of concealment feels pretty good. There we go. Getting ourselves another fire. And there's plenty of maps, I think, where 19 kilometers of range is enough. Um, but, you know... I used to be pretty frustrated when people would take range mod on a Nevsky because then you get, what, 22 kilometers of range? And I was like, surely you don't need that much range to play this ship. But 
some games, uh, some games at tier 10, and especially at super ships, you, you kind of you want the range. You definitely you want the range sometimes. Uh, pretty good first game here. Um, yeah, yeah, nearly a wither even considering IFHE. That's pretty good. I uh, it's a strong ship. I don't know why I don't play it as much, but it's a pretty strong ship. I should talk about the armor here too. At close range, uh, you actually have a bit of an icebreaker. So if you're at close range YOLO torping someone, um, yeah, you're actually reasonably safe, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the Citadel here, you get a bit of spaced armor. It's pretty easy to hit the Citadel though. So don't, don't just sit broadside to people in this thing. Um, 30 mil deck is nice. So if it long ranges, you can actually angle to anything around Republic can overmatch you, but other than that, anything with lower caliber won't. Um, so that's Kerfers, Montana's, all those 406s, kind of no overmatch there, assuming you're angling properly. Commander-wise, this is what I'm running here. I've got a lot of low-tier uh, upgrades on the build, just because I want turret traverse. I do want to swap to AP at times. Uh, I didn't really show it in this game. Maybe I wasn't thinking about it, or maybe there wasn't like a great opportunity to use the AP. Um, we'll try and do that. We'll try and do that next game. Turret Traverse is awesome. Concealment, Adrenaline Rush, um, Superintendent, all very, very useful. I don't know why the recommended build includes Heavy HE. That makes you less stealthy. And as you can see, the damage output's already fine. So I don't know. I think it'd make it just harder to play. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend uh, Heavy HE. As for the upgrades, this is what I'm running right now. I think you could think about um, steering gears, considering Nevsky can be a more open water cruiser than sitting on islands, thanks to its shell velocity, not really allowing that many islands to make use of it. Although I do enjoy playing with my throttle to actually dodge things as well. Uh, I'm taking reload, but again, if you're finding it just tough to play in the current camping meta, uh, just take range mod. 22 kilometers range, you shouldn't have terribly many issues with that. Um, and there we go. Let's uh, let's hop into the next game. I'll try and use AP a little bit more in this one. I think the AP is one of the strong points of this ship, certainly. It's not just an HE spammer. Although, obviously, we did pretty well in that last game. But you do need you do need broadsides. I don't think you really want to be shooting this at, you know, somewhat angled ships. If I'm remembering correctly, this does not have any improved pen angles. So you're not like a Stalingrad or a Petro or a Des Moines. It's just more standard AP. But good shell velocity means you have pretty good pen at reasonable ranges. So against cruisers, you can Citadel them to decent ranges, say maybe 15 kilometers, maybe even a little farther. A lot of light cruisers can be Citadeled, I think. Um, also upper belt on battleships, pretty easy farm. Uh, certainly something to uh, something to look for. And I'll try and keep that in mind this game just so that, you know, we can actually show what this ship is capable of in a, in a more live setting. That's kind of the goal of these one takes. Loading in. Let's see if we can't get a, well, another tier 10 game. All tier 10 matches. I'm down for those. Super ships get a little tricky, definitely. And I don't always want to be punching on uh, little tier 8s. So, hey, another full... Tier 10 game, no carrier, no submarine. Feels pretty good. Um, something to consider is that Nevsky actually has pretty good AA. 6.9 kilometer range, pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, not taking defensive fire, although if you do spec AA and defensive fire, well, this is a pretty decent no-fly zone. One of the better ones in the game. I just don't want to take it because well, Hydro is just so valuable, especially given that uh, Hydro counters subs a lot more effectively than Defensive Fire counters CVs. And Hydro provides other benefits against DDs and other torpedo threats. So that's why I tend to take Hydro basically on every ship these days. Now, where do we play? This is a kind of an awkward position to be in um, as a... Radar cruiser, I don't think we quite have the radar range to get the full B cap. And even if we do, we don't necessarily want to pop it since we don't have anyone on our team that we know is going to shoot, right? In a more competitive setting, or even if you're in a div with someone or a couple people, you can use a really long range radar ship planted behind a big island and do some pretty nasty things with that spotting. But 
Just need to make sure people are willing to shoot. So, you know, I'm not going to pop it right away or anything like that. But if I notice my DD is getting in a gunfight and the enemy DD smokes up or they both smoke up and they're within radar range, I'll pop a, I'll pop a radar to allow my DDs to uh, get a little more damage in. The idea with going to towards C, kind of hanging around B, but also nosing our way towards C is that we got some islands here to prevent us from getting spotted. So we might be able to just sit here and farm some people up here. Um, whereas the south side of the map is very open here until you get to these big islands at A. So I don't really want to, uh, I don't really feel like playing open water, at least at the start. Vermont's are a little spooky. Yamato's spooky, so let's uh, let's not get dev struck first thing, shall we? Um, as you can see, behind this island, not quite able to get the whole cap. Maybe if I was down here, I could. Um, Smolensk middle, okay. Our Shimakasi is so aggressive. I might actually just tell him to get back. I don't know why he's so aggressive. <laughs> it's something you could think about doing sometimes. Okay, Kerr first, Columbo Conqueror. That's a lot of enemy force in the south. Very, very interesting. Um, just give me a second, guys. I'm getting a call. Okay, sorry about that. I am back, and we've lost a lot of map control. <laughs> um, okay, let's see if we can bring this back a little bit. Sorry, that was uh, a bit of a long message. Everyone's gone to these robo calls, um, so I'm getting. It's important because I'm actually getting a graphics card delivered for my new computer, which I'm super duper excited about. Um, so it's you know good I take the call, but man, it's like. You gotta give me all this extra, you know, confirmation stuff in this robotic voice that takes forever. And then, because I'm in Canada, okay, don't don't take this the wrong way, but because I'm in Canada, they have to repeat it in French. And as someone who lives in the middle of nowhere, Saskatchewan, who lives a th 1,500, 2,000 kilometers away from anywhere that speaks French, uh, it's not the most useful to me. So, yeah. It takes a little longer on some of these Canadian calls. Uh, but, hey, package on its way. Uh, anyways, let's uh, let's talk about the game. What can we do in this situation? Um, well, we are losing A, which is not unexpected, because, like I said earlier, they had a lot of support there. Um, I took too long. Like, so you can see exactly what, like, missing out on three minutes of gameplay does to you. Um, oh, this could be really bad. Missing out on three minutes of gameplay is potentially pretty brutal because, you know, that's, that's destroyer kills, that's cap control. However, detonating things is a nice way to get back into a game. <laughs> okay. Um, so now the enemy team probably is gonna have to run from here so what do we do uh what do we do to ensure we contain c but also can defend b a bit that is the challenge here i think i kind of want to get back into this kind of area and farm these guys as they're as they're uh coming across these guys maybe um i think we're controlling c just fine yeah, miss, missing that time really hurt our team a lot. Although, maybe not. Maybe it just, I would have helped here. Maybe we have one DD alive here instead of missing missing out on someone. Although they're pushing back to their spawn. That's kind of smart considering, uh, yeah, our team is kited actually quite well. So if the enemy team had pushed through here and I came back here, I mean, that's how you win games that you shouldn't otherwise win, right? This is why I'm always talking about don't push into the enemy spawn. Don't push the enemy spawn. Because it's very easy to push here as the enemy team 
and just get locked into a massive open water crossfire and just die. Um, very, very easy to fall into that trap. Um, they're not, so, you know, that's good for them, but not so great for us. Didn't really want to get spotted there. Okay. Here we go. All shatters, unfortunate, on the Vermonts. Let's see if we can deal with these guys. Even though they have the cap already, um, you know, seems like they're pushing in. Lucky fire, like I talked about, IFHE. Lucky to get fires on the first hit. Since we have a fire burning on the Kerr first, we can actually go and... Uh, or fire burning on the Columbo. Let's go after the Kerr first. Maybe we can get ourselves a fire there. Dispersion, please. Notice how I'm angling my ship to uh, the guys in the north here. The Yamato and the Vermont. I don't really want to uh, give them free broadside. And the broadside I am showing is to a Conqueror kind of thing. So it's not as big of a deal. Ah, AP. AP. That's what we are needing to try out. Let's see how good it can do here. 4,000 from the HE is actually pretty awesome. Three and a half. That was, that was a little better. It was like a 5k salvo. And the thing to keep in mind is the reload, right? 5.3 second reload is nasty. Um, you're getting, you're not getting Des Moines reload, but you're pretty close to a reload mod Des Moines. I guess it's a little better than than just range mod Des Moines. That's something that's pretty cool. Um, although one less gun, you're lacking in dispersion a lot and the caliber, but it's still still something pretty impressive. Uh, us being detected here is not amazing. Wonder what we're detected by. Is there someone here? Who shot at me? Ah, Columbo. Sap hurts, although he whiffed, good. There is a DD here, oh my goodness. Can we get a salvo in? He looked like he was stopping in smoke, although he like he accelerated, fair enough. Okay, we trade. That's good for us. Um. Okay, hopefully our team doesn't do the mistake of pushing into the enemy spawn. That would that would be unfortunate. Okay, GK secondaries are on us now, so that, that's a good time to run away. Especially because we just don't have any vision on it. Use a heal. All right, there's GK. That's a guy we could kind of YOLO after. I don't really want to YOLO though. Let's see, is he going to push out around this island or is he going here to stop? I'm broadside to Yami if I make this turn. It looks like the GK is gonna use this island to stop, which fair enough, um, we could YOLO him game's almost over. At a certain point, uh, you just kind of have to YOLO. So let's see if we can't get some use out of the torpedoes. Uh, Sherman is farming my team, so maybe not paying attention. Let's see. Nah, paying attention. Too bad. All right, what we're going to do is we're actually going to launch our front torps or our left side torps. And that'll allow us to turn and be a little more bow in when we use our other side, hopefully to kill the GK. Although he knows, <laughs> he knows what's coming. Uh, unfortunately, our Yamato pushed into the enemy spawn and lost his life, too bad. Although the GK is not coming out, so actually me using my left side torpedoes was a big mistake. Big mistake. Oh my goodness, they're so... 
977. I don't think I can even get there in time. Unfortunate. Okay, so I, I missed some time. Uh, that I don't think makes a difference this game. But, uh, hey. First game was a great example, so there you go. Uh, Nevsky's a pretty strong one. I was a little distracted this second one, I'm sorry. Um, but, hey, first game felt really, really nice. Second game, I missed some time, but also we didn't really have much of a team, specifically in the DD department. Notice we just kind of lost all map control. Nevsky, though, is a really, really, really strong ship. And if you don't have it, I think it's definitely one of the tier 10s that you should probably be looking at. High battle impact, great radar, amazing shell velocity and reload, just lacking in dispersion a little bit. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.